Hello everyone, and today we are going to be attempting to repair this uh, iPod Nano 2nd Gen. <clears throat> so, funny story. It has a headphone jack and this click wheel. And they are attached to one cable, and they plug into the motherboard around like right here or so. And let's just start taking it apart. So, when you take it apart, you turn the hold switch on first off, which just prevents button presses, not that any of those are going to be happening. You can see it still works. It just, this doesn't work, or the headphone doesn't work either. But, I don't need this anymore. But you can pop this out. And it hits that switch down right. There's that little red switch right there. And that's just sort of hit by this little thing right. It's really small. Right there. And um, that has nothing to do with what we're going to fix. But we also have to take this little cover off right there. But that right there is the... Uh, oh, you need to autofocus back. Okay. Uh, I took the little dot cover off. And I will show you in just a second what we're going to be fixing. Right there is the headphone jack. And it's held on by just this one little screw. Headphone jack is going to be bottom right. So I'm just going to pull it off. But once you've done that... You have to pull the headphone jack out just a little bit, and as you can see, it's broken. Focus, there you go. It's broken. And that is because I have to take this screw off real quick. I'm taking it off fully. There we go. My back's starting to hurt. <laughs> I'm bending over the camera. And that has this little bracket held in place there. Put that right there. And down inside where the headphone jack used to be, there's one last screw we have to get out. I think I'm unscrewing it. It's really difficult to see. Yes, I did get it out. And now... That all the screws are out, except for I think there's one on the top. Nope. I think there used to be one, but I must have lost it. Uh, actually, wait. I think you might pull this out. Which this is the hold switch assembly. Uh, nope. I don't have it in there. Okay. So you have a cable that you have to reach in there and pry out, but because I didn't do that. <coughs> It's right, I'll see if I can get it to focus this close again. But right there, see that little connector? Right there. You have to pop that up before you push. You actually push the entire, uh, all the internals, you push them and drop them onto the floor. Great, yep. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna quickly just wipe that off. What you're supposed to do is push it from the bottom and out the top. Make sure the hold switch is still working because it's got a really thin cable. I just dropped it. Yep. And the little lock icon indicates it's don't hold. But wait, where'd the um did the piece fall out when it dropped? Um Hope not. Anyways, but as we can see, we just sort of give it a push and it pops out. And I'm going to pull it out. But the connector's right there. We're going to grab our package. Um, and it's got bubble wrap. It's got bubbles in the inside of the packaging. And it's got bubble wrap. And then... It's got our little 
thing. How do I open this? I guess I just tear it open. But it looks like it had a staple there at some point. Let me see if I can get it. There you go. Um, it looks like I had a staple at that top section. I'm gonna try and. Hmm. It might not be possible to just take it apart. Oh, I have scissors over there. So we're just gonna cut it right along the top, just about that far. And we're just gonna. There you go. Simple as can be. So, as you can see, the connector is right here, is what broke, right there. And it goes down to the headphone jack, which you may also notice, this one's black, but I don't mind. Alright, so we're going to plug this in. I'm terrified of plugging this in, because <laughs> I don't want to break it. Okay, I plugged it in for the first time. Now we're just gonna un. La oh, it actually turned off. It's just a swing the Apple logo. Give it a second. And now it lit up. And it is still lighting up. No battery car. Okay, and I am now back with all my cables. Bottom all, because this is weird. So I'm gonna pull out my, um, let's do the blue battery pack. Blue battery pack, and just because I know this weird triple cable is the one that will actually show the now charging thing we did. And um, we're gonna plug it into the not tablet one. Well, we'll plug it into tablet one and give it a higher chance of working. And then we plug it in right there. And I probably shouldn't have put my finger all over the screen, but now I turn this on. It's at 100%. You can see a flicker. Um, and it's displaying the Apple logo again. Okay. <sighs> it's not taking too long to start up. Okay, now let's test it. This is exciting. It kind of works? <laughs> hmm. Do I have to like push on it more? Okay. So it's kind of working. <laughs> huh, it's not clicking? Something wrong with it? Let me think. Pop it out. Okay, it's gonna be really hard to click because normally there's a little metal piece behind it, but I can just sort of even go menu. There we go. Okay, it's actually working much better now. Uh, let's quickly just try extras. Games. Brick. Come on, <laughs> okay, it's finicky, but it does technically work. Um, I need to go grab my laptop with iTunes installed to see if it will work. Let me just quickly the menu button. There we go. And go up. Okay, so it works much better with this metal piece. Um Come on. And I'm gonna just 
the AC just came out. I'm going to pause it and go grab my laptop. I'm going to quickly just test out the audio just to make sure that it does play music. Because it would be pretty bad if it didn't. <laughs> so I have some headphones right here. And we're just going to plug them in right there. Into, oh, I've got to be really careful with this. Is it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put this into my ear. It's got noise. Thank God. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the volume up. Down. That's probably why it's so noisy, is because the volume's all the way up. Oh, it worked great with this. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly <laughs> test them out a little bit more. A little less noisy, still quite noisy. Yep, it works. Okay. Well. Had to very carefully remove it. Okay, so here's iTunes. And now it's plugged in. And it says it's charging. Um, let's try another cable. So it says it's charging, but it's not showing up in iTunes. I'm not going to agree. Hmm. So that still doesn't work. Let me see if I can figure out why. Let me go just quickly. So, uh, the way you do, the way you remove it is, um, I'm gonna set it over here, the iPod. The way you remove it is you push down on it because it was actually just glued on and it pops off. And that's just about it. And, um, you just slide it off. Yeah, and then you can pop that out. So see, this is the little metal backing plate, and this is the original click wheel versus the new one. So, they're a little bit different. Not a lot, but a little bit. We're gonna get our tweezers back because we're Probably need those to remove this. Uh, I don't know if you can't see that, but see, there's the original, there's the two compared. I need this camera to be pointed down much more. There we go. Anyway, so it was on this little plate like this, with this little cable going through there, right there. But let's see how easy it will be to, just to peel it off. Oh, the center button isn't even attached anywhere. <laughs> Did I just cut that? No, that was there before. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're just going to try and get it on there. I doubt this is working. Wow. Um, hmm. We're going to get a thinner one, mostly because it's thinner, but also because it's more convenient than over here. They're not too, <laughs> not too difficult. Oh no, I really hope that you don't need those little black nubs. Because see, this one has little plastic black nubs on it. Uh, whereas this one does not. 
It's just the bare metal. I think there's a little bit of plastic on top actually. I want to leave this intact because I could theoretically probably fix it at some point by just using some very small wires. And we have just about made a full 360. And we've now made a full 360. Now we're going to work our way backwards, but on the inside of the circle. And easy, oops, a little bit right there. Easy peasy. So it's actually injected and molded the um, text is. See how it says all the text on the front, right? Come on, camera focus. See how it says all the text? You can see that on the back, which means it's injection molded, I think. <laughs> uh, as you can see, there's two little holes there and there's two little pegs on here. Two little pegs on here. I wish it would auto focus away once I move this away, but should just rotate until bam, it clicks in place and then it clicks in place again. Okay, we're gonna have to undo the tape right here. But I wanna test it first. Let's see if I can just stick it there. Come on. There we go. Just stick this on top. You just hold it in place with this. It's not working at all. Anyways. I guess we just glue this to that. Well, it's time to glue this to that, I guess. As you can see, that's how it looks on the underside. Let me just get that a little... Let me get a close-up of it. Yep, that's what it looks like. Now we're going to disable manual focus. And I guess we, um... I don't know, stick it through here for a guide. Just sort of... I'm terrified. <laughs> Just sort of stick it on like this, I think. About like that. I think that will probably work. Maybe. Hmm. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Um, let me just. Oh wait, I need to put this. Silly me. To put the menu button on, you need to put it in. Uh, ooh. <laughs> like that, and there's little notches so that you know where to put the cable. There's one on each side, too. So you can put it on either way. Let me quickly just take it down. And it shut itself down. Well, let's see. Hmm. Well... Let's just stick it in here. And, okay. All right, so there we go. I stuck it in there. And now we're just gonna use this to give it some pressure downwards to try and re-stick it with the glue. I didn't order any new glue for this. Yeah, I'm gonna need new glue for that. Anyway, since it's working, let's see if we can test out our brand new thing. Oh yeah, that works great. Let's pick our favorite game Okay, well, we're going to pull this uh, center button out. We're going to scroll to games. I'm just going to do break. Oop. This is a quick game to break up the almost hour-long time I've been spending. Okay, yep, quick game. This is just a quick game. Now it's time to get that stuck up in there somehow. Not quite as vibrant as I think it should be. I'm just sort of 
Mapping it over top of the existing stuff, I guess. <sighs> there we go. I tried to not get any of it in the center where this will be going. So let me just slip the button in, the center button. There we go. Like that, and then just slip it in like right in there. Oop, nope, we want to slip the whole thing in there. Keep it down out. So as you can see, that volume cable has a bit of extra. Okay. It's not glued on to the left side. Okay, it's time to just put this back in and call it a day. Bet you forgot how we even took it apart. It's been almost an hour. Um, 53 minutes. So I've been here for almost definitely trying to do this for an hour. So we just slide it right back in. Or it immediately catches on that stupid thing. And that display cable is going to cause some problems. Nope. Okay. Give me my plastic spudger. And then we put this back in. Finally. And it doesn't feel bad. now is it dead did I plug it in right okay I think it went in feels nice so now let's start putting it all back together. So, yes, I think this goes in first. It's been a long time since I put it back together. What was intact? Oh, wait. Enable that hold switch. See, because if I touch it, since it's touch controlled. Whew, finally got that in there let's see so if that one was right there that means this one goes over here this one's gonna probably be quite easy but it isn't the easiest yeah the one for the headphone jack is the easiest but you may notice that that headphone jack is still just flapping around and that is because they were smart, and they designed it with extra, so it actually folds over in itself like that, I'm pretty sure. And when you push it in, it fits in nice. But since it has extra, you can pull it out, since there's a screw underneath it. And you can pull it out and be able to access the plug that plugs it in, so that you maybe don't break that plug so easily. I really hope it just suddenly will work when I plug it back in. Yeah, you can't even tell it's black in there, so that's fine. And the hold switch completes it. Oop. Uh, nope, it needs to be in hold, okay. 
and ooh, it's bouncing. <laughs> It isn't held in as great as it was when I first got it, I don't think. Oh, I can search. Uh, the headphone jack does still work in. I can play pause. So yeah, be sure to leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and Subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more of this. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, bye!